Hi, my name is Kat Kozlowski and I'm an environmental educator from Australia. And as a child, I was lucky enough to grow up in the forest that was home to many unique animals like kangaroos, possums and platypuses. Now I study the way that plants and animals interact with their environments and how humans influence this behaviour. So today, here I am talking about plants and uh, why they're so important. For instance, they produce oxygen, which is vital for all animals like you and I to survival. And also they produce beautiful, tasty foods like fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds that we can eat. And also they come in many shapes, sizes and colours, as we can see around us today. But what I really like about plants is that they're full of surprises. For instance, there's a pretty little flower called the chocolate lily in Australia. And guess what? It actually smells like chocolate. That's pretty nice when you're walking through the forest. Okay, there's also another special plant that Australia has. It's the world's tallest flowering tree. Its scientific name is called Eucalyptus regnans, but to you and I, it's known as the mountain ash. Now the mountain ash is a really special plant. Not only is it the world's tallest tree and grows to over 100 meters tall, but it actually relies on fire to survive. And it may sound a bit funny that a plant needs fire for survival, but actually what happens is that the mountain ash has small tiny seed capsules about the size of your fingernail. And these seed capsules, they're very high up on the top of the tree. And when the fire comes, it will burn the tree, but the seed capsules, they survive. They're made out of a really strong material. So the seed capsules fall to the ground and because of the heat of the fire, they open up. Now the heat of the fire has given us these seed capsules on the ground and they get lots of sunlight, they've got lots of nutrients in the ground, and then they start growing, and they grow really fast, about one metre every year for the first 10 years. Now as the seeds are growing and growing, they get taller and taller, but like you and I, when we're children we grow, eventually when we become teenagers, we stop growing, and so does the mountain ash. And this is lucky, because the mountain ash lives for about four or 500 years, so it can't keep growing. But why would a tree want to grow tall? Well, there are lots of advantages in this, and the main advantage is sunlight. Because like you and I, when we get hungry, we will eat something and then we'll have energy again. Plants don't have this, but what they do have is some really special adaptations that allow them to reach the uh, sunlight and make their own energy. Now, it may be hard to believe, but plants are always moving. We just can't see it with our naked eye. But if we look at a simple leaf, there are thousands of movements happening within the leaf as chemical reactions are taking place and the leaf is making its own energy. But plants also do some really fantastic things to allow them to move and get to the sunlight. For example, they can climb, they can change the shape of their cells and climb up high so they can get close to the sunlight. Also, plants have special hormones that allow them to determine which way is up and which way is down. Now, Plants want to grow up for the sunlight, but they also want to grow down with their roots so they can get nutrients and water to help them grow and move. There is one special plant that can move really quickly, just like the click of your fingers. Its name is the Venus flytrap, and it actually attracts animals towards it. And as the animals crawl across the flytrap's leaves, it can trigger some sensor hairs. Now, if a fly triggers one sensor hair, it's safe, it's okay. But if within 20 seconds it triggers another sense of hair, it triggers the plant to close its leaves and trap the fly. And then the plant will release some juices and dissolve the fly so it gets the nutrients for it to survive. So now we know a little bit more about plants, it's your turn to go out and explore the wonderful world of nature. So why don't you go for a walk in the park and see what plant is the tallest plant what animals are using these plants? And maybe if you're lucky, if you can smell a chocolate smelling plant. Okay, have fun.